Hi, this is Diane Dean calling for Mr. Getzoff, please. Who is this? This is Diane Dean calling from United Floral Design. Yes. Um, Mr. Getzoff there, please. I was supposed to call at 2 o'clock, but I thought... Okay, well, are you... Then you're early, and that's not very nice. No, sir, I wasn't trying to be rude. I, I thought... Yeah, that but you're a little early, and that is very presumptuous on your part. No, it's not presumptuous. I'm calling. If he's not there, I'll call back. Okay, okay. well, uh, I don't I know... I have a centerpiece. He had asked me to do... Uh-huh, okay. I have, um... I talked to him, and I have Angelica for Inspiration Centerpiece, and he had told me... Well, can I ask you, what is this centerpiece for? It's for the wedding. I had talked to Mr. Getz... Who is this, please? My name is Jack. It's for the wedding. Jack, did I speak to you on Friday of last week? No, you did not. It's what, what... I think, you know, I think I did, and if you're fiddling with me again, I'm not... This is, this is silliness again. I told you. Listen I to me. To, you don't lie to me. Who are you I'm, yelling at? I'm yelling at you. I'm, yeah. I'm Harry's you partner. You're supposed to know. You told... You fiddled with me. Hello? Yes, hello. Ma'am. You fiddled. Okay, if we can just calm down. I'm Harry's partner. Nobody's fiddling here. And what wedding are you talking about? I am calling about Mr. Getzoff's wedding. I asked to speak to him. Well, don't, the don't, fiance. well, don't you think I would know about his wedding? I'm his partner. I mean, what's the story? I don't understand partner. I spoke to the fiance. His fiance. I'm his partner. I'm his lover. I don't understand. No. You, you're not done with this. You and the other fellow on Friday. Ma'am. You're not doing this again, and I don't appreciate it. Again, I told you, I'm not... Do you know that I lost a customer on Friday because of you? Uh, I, I... And whoever that other fellow on the phone was. You think this is funny? Do you... you tell me that you're his partner? I know for a fact that Mr. Getzoff has a fiancé. Well, then there's something that I don't know here. This is a surprise to me. I'm his partner. I'm his lover for three years now. You don't joke with me. Put Mr. Getzoff on the phone. I don't find this funny. Mr. You Get... tell me on Friday when I speak to you that you have a centerpiece and you cut out a piece of wood in the middle of the floor. That's not funny. Miss, listen to me. I had the potpourri. I had everything for him. And you're joking with me. It's not funny. Nobody's joking here. Harry oh, Getzoff. Hello. Yes, this is Jack. I need to speak to Mr. Getzoff now, okay? Not you, Jack. Okay, listen to me. Mr. Getzoff just went out to buy a bottle of schmaltz. He'll be back in a, in a moment. You can speak to him. He cut a hole in... using words now. You're using words like schmaltz. You think I don't know what you're doing with the word schmaltz? You think I don't know what that's a joke? Ma'am, he loves schmaltz. Is there something wrong with that? You don't buy a bottle of schmaltz. Don't fill with me again with... Harry you. makes his own schmaltz, but he went out to buy it from a friend. Harry makes p perhaps the best schmaltz I've ever had. Listen to me. He cut a hole in the floor, and he's building a volcano. Okay? Well, you listen to me. Okay, I spoke to Mr. Getzloff. We had an agreement. I said I was going to get to him a centerpiece. Okay? Not for the floor, for the table, for the reception, and for the ceremony, and for the cocktail hour. Okay. okay? You're fine again, and I don't find it funny. Harry is an artist, and you obviously don't know that. He Excuse me, I am an artist. This is my business, okay? I have flowers, beautiful flowers. I've had a centerpiece in the fridge. It's going to wilt. And you are not being funny. Nobody's trying to be funny, ma'am. You tell me I... who goes out for a bottle of schmaltz. You don't kid with me like that. You know, I just don't believe the way you're yelling at me. I don't, I don't need I am that. very angry with you. You did this to, on Friday to me. You think I don't understand that. Listen, I'm his partner. I live here. What would you like me to do? I mean, I don't understand. Let me speak to the fiancé. Where? Where is she? I want the number. And furthermore, I think that's... I don't like, I don't like you people. You and this other one. I want to deal with you. I want to speak to the fiancé. I don't know why you're going... I don't understand, quite frankly, why I couldn't speak to the fiancé directly. I find that very suspicious. Well, in... The groom doesn't usually do the flowers. Okay, well, in order to speak to his fiancé... She had said that she has bridesmaids in blue. Well, this is all a surprise. I know this. this is a surprise to me because she is a roommate here, and I don't know where he gets off calling her his bride to be. We have been lovers for three years, and I don't know what he's I doing. Want to get this is ridiculous. In the situation, this is ridiculous. The living situation, you people are giving me a hard time. Okay, and listen. I want to speak to Mr. Getzoff now. Okay, uh, I, I will have him call you. Back to two. If it means calling back to two, I will do that. Okay? I, I have a good mind to slap you across your face. To me here. You, what do you expect me to do with this? The, just the way you're screaming at me, I could slap you silly. Yes, I am screaming at you because you did this to me on Friday. I was told this would not happen again with the crossed wires, and you're doing it again. I mean, just yes. I mean, just the yelling and stuff. I've never heard anything like it. I have a good mind to just lick you down. It's crazy. Oh, you're
threatening me now. Jack, I have a business, okay? But apparently you don't understand that because every time I call, you're at home. But why are you yelling at me? I don't understand why you're at home, first of all. Because, because Harry you know. pays for me to stay home. I don't have to work. I'm his mother. And you know what? Harry is going to pay for me to do the wedding. And if you people don't stop, I am not going to do the wedding. I need to get the fiancé's number now. Harry fell asleep last night drunk and he fell behind the bed. Do you want any more? I mean, is that what you want our heart and soul? He fell asleep drunk behind the bed. He's you getting married. nonsense with me. He, you stop this. He's getting married, he said. He's breaking my heart. I don't understand. Hold on. Hold on. Yes, I believe I spoke to you. Uh, no, you see now, now I know that you two people, you are doing this wrong, okay? What, uh, what I is? didn't see you on Friday, you missed the accent. I spoke to you. Yes, uh, what is the problem? The person with the centerpiece, with the wood. You yes. just don't catch on to the silliness. What, uh, what are you? You're silly too. What is, what is she talking about? She's cursing me, yelling me. I am yelling you. That is right. Because do you know that I lost the customer on Friday because of your... Well, how did you I lose the customer? Speak, let me put Jack back on the phone because I want to get the number of the VIP. You want to speak to Jack? I want to get, you know what, I don't want to speak to any of you. I want you the want number, to speak to Jack? I want the number of the VIP. If you want to speak to Jack, you, you must speak to Mr. Scott. No, you did this to me on Friday. I don't want to speak to Scott. And you know what, I don't have time for this. With the, with the volcano, I'm fixing the volcano. I am very Right now. I'm an you artist. Listen to me. I'm an artist. I'm fixing volcano. It's gonna go. I was told this was not going to happen again. And it's going to go. erupt. Explosion. I'm. Uh, uh, the volcano exploded, and it, it destroyed a piece of my ass, legs, everything. You're failing again. You put Jack back on the phone right you, now. Okay. Right now. Okay. But in order to speak to Jack, I'm gonna put my husband on the phone. Do you know that I've been on the phone for 30 years? I'm gonna put my husband on the phone if you don't stop. Okay, if you want to put your husband on the phone. Now I have to make my customer. Hold on, please. Hello? 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 I love him. How am I supposed to call her? He's a roommate, and if he's getting married behind my back, you I'm... Don't listen to me. I'm not getting involved with whatever is going on at that apartment. I will slap him silly. I you do what you want. I... Look, I have a centerpiece. I've had it since Friday. I told you that. You joke with this thing in the middle of the room. It's not funny. And then you put your friend on the phone. He doesn't even speak English. He doesn't even understand what I'm saying to him. He's the super of the building. I don't want a super. I don't need to speak to the super. Well, what does that have to do with my flowers? Well, in a roundabout way, what I guess... What does that have to do with the fact that I lost a customer because of you? In a roundabout way, I guess it has something to do with it, because they said they're building a volcano for you and your flowers. And it's something to do with... Listen to me, Jack. Listen to me, please. No. Will you listen to me? Listen to me. He said, the super said they're cutting a big hole in the floor, they've already made a volcano, and that when you come in with the flowers, Harry's supposed to shove you into the volcano. This is all I understand. This is not funny. Hello. You know you're joking now, and you give me the number of the fiance. Ma'am, there is no joke here. According to Harry. This is not funny. According. Okay, no. Listen. This is silliness. You're silly. Ma'am, according. I'm very angry. According to Harry, you were going to come in with the floral arrangement. According to Harry, nothing. Okay, please listen. With the floral arrangement and partial ownership of a deli with your husband, and they were going to shove you into the volcano. That's all I know. What deli? What are you talking about with a deli? The Second Avenue Deli. The Star Deli or something? I have nothing to do. I have no association. Neither does my husband. Okay. Well, then, okay. Then he's mistaken. Jack, do you understand what is going on? I don't think you understand the severity. Well, then you're yelling at me. I don't understand. I am yelling at you because I'll tell you why. He worked his ass off. You were on Friday. You put me through this, and now you're doing it again. Listen. And I was told from Kara that this would not happen. Listen. Harry worked his ass off to prepare this volcano for you. He worked so hard on it. You don't do this. This is not funny. Ma'am. never discussed a volcano. That is not funny. He said that you asked him to put a volcano in the center of the room. That's all I know. And you were going to make sacrificial uh, 
things, offerings. Do I need to call back at 2 o'clock? We'll have it pick up the phone at 2 o'clock. Okay, I, if you want to try at 2 o'clock, he went out to get some salves and bombs and ligaments. Okay, you're joking with me. No, I am not. You're telling me it's the other. Now you're telling me, where is he? He'll be back in a little while. At 2 o'clock? I said I would call back at 2 o'clock. Okay, and we'll try to get... I'm sorry for the confusion. What time is it now? It's approximately 2 no, o'clock. What time is it now? It's about 2 o'clock. But then I call you now. Pardon me? If it's 2 o'clock, then I'll call you now. Okay, or you can call a little later, whatever you wish. Hold on, please. Okay, is your husband there or something I can speak to? You're not speaking to my husband. Because you're yelling at me like crazy. Oh, you think I'm yelling? If I put my husband on the phone, then you're going to hear some yelling. But why are you angry with us? I'm what? angry because you know that you stuck around with me on Friday. What have we done? You're doing it again. I spoke to this woman. I set up a time to call. And you people are... I am so angry right now. If I find out that that bitch Harry's cheating on me, I will break his legs. You That's... find out what you need to find out. I'm calling you back. And if I don't speak... Why are you yelling at me like that? I am yelling at you because you are giving me the right. What have I ever done to you? Don't cry with me. Don't joke. Oh, but I've never done anything to you. You're doing something to me. It's going to be on Friday. Oh, you're yelling at me like I'm a... No.